Donald Golden Globe race evolved because of Sir Francis Chichester. He uh, was a solo sailor, had competed in the solo transatlantic races, and uh, he then decided he would take on the, the clipper voyages, that's the wheat clippers, from England to Australia. They'd sail out, pick up the wheat and sail back. So he set off and did uh, a very uh, you know, sensible voyage solo from England all the way to Australia, refitted the boat there and then sailed all the way back to the England. And that was sort of groundbreaking at the time. He became a national hero and uh, it was big news. So that then sparked the last great challenge idea for a lot of uh, sailors and that was that no one had ever done a solo non-stop circumnavigation. And so there was a group of about 10 or 12 that started to think about it and then the Sunday Times came up and thought they should start a race. So they put up a £5,000 trophy for the fastest solo non-stop circumnavigation and they put up another uh, uh, trophy which was just the Golden Globe for the first one to complete that challenge. Nine sailors took off, only one finished, that was Robin Knox Johnson in Suhaley, who was the complete outsider. Everyone thought that he wouldn't even finish in this little old 32 foot timber boat built in India. And uh, he came through and, and took, took the prize, so uh, he was the first ever to achieve that.